Hey guys, uh, welcome again in this National Education Circle in Marketing. Today we're going to talk about customer behavior analysis. Let's go and look on how we're going to analyze our customer behavior in marketing. Hey, as uh, your presenter, your facility is Langton Kamihanda, the MCVP Marketing ISEC in Uganda. So let's talk about marketing as a definition. <clears throat> and everyone knows about customer behavior. And our customers are those who are consuming or using our product in ISIC. And in ISIC, we already talked about our product. So for those who are using our product, we're going to talk about their behavior and the how to analyze their behavior. So moving quickly, marketing customer behavior is still as individual buying habits including social trends, frequency, patterns, background, factor influencing their decision to buy something. So something will be influencing them to buy your product, to buy our product as I said, is what we call customer behavior. What influences them, which one is most likely to buy, either it's social trending, or those people want more more brands, for me, I want brand the t shirts of Isaac in Uganda having Isaac brands. So that's what I want. So that's my behavior of as me as a customer of ISIC, that's my behavior of using ISIC brand. So I want ISIC brand. Uh, the analysis, customer behavior analysis, just like uh, we analyze like which qualitative and quantitative observation on how customer interact with the company, like how much customer is interacting with the company, maybe how much customer is buying your product, how much customer is involving you doing an exchange. Maybe someone go abroad twice or he came for ICX twice in per year. So this is how frequent, how analysis you analyze the behavior of your customer. So if one comes two twice, two, two times in your country for ICX programs, means has high frequency in consuming your behavior, your, your product. How to leverage in brief marketing? Uh, we are understanding how to conduct customer behavior analysis, matching the different customer behavior and the appropriate marketing strategies. So this is how we're going to leverage it to improve our marketing strategies. Uh, in analyzing this, we need to have to create or to know or to analyze our competitive advantage. Competitive advantage is a combination of marketing elements that set your business apart that what you think can be your advantage from other competitors so it can make you to be, to be in a good position compared with your customers, with your competitive advantage. For instance, I say you can analyze our competitive, like our competitors, like other entities of ISEC or other organization which is offering the same product, the same service, like what we offer. For instance, Free Africa in Uganda, we have start hubs in Uganda. So this is what we analyze as our competitors. So in each, maybe in the improving this, you can have your special offers, for instance, free delivery offer or personalized service offer. Maybe someone, if you're buying someone, we buy Isaac t-shirts, we'll give you the Isaac tag name that Victor, maybe you like your names in that t-shirt. So how to leverage it on your improved marketing? It's highlight customer B benefits, reflect your business strength, be clear, simple, and unique, change over time to adapt to your conditions. So you need to change your alliance, you need to change your selling alignment strategies so you can make new conditions and come up with good ideas. How to find your competitive advantage? How are you going to find this competitive? How are you going to make your competitors to be in your advantage? Review the marketing and the competition. Review what what people Africa, what other entities are doing now, so you can understand what you need to do. Also, focus on the benefits. Make analyze what benefit the customer they need from you and your other entities, and then you make that a difference. Innovate and change. Make some changes in your past offers.
Next, let's talk about the marketing, public relations, and advertising. As marketing, also doing advertising as well as sometimes doing public relations. So these are three different questions, but at the once we do it as marketing, and the marketing comes from different occasions. So also public relations, one of part of marketing as well as advertising. So in marketing, with the business of promoting and selling product or service, including market research and advertising. So this is how we do marketing and marketing. So we need to have the smart key process of doing marketing, planning, organizing, promotion, promoting, and the efforts. So you want to be promoting, that's it, advertising. Also, you need to have large umbrella term that have large vision that what you need to acquire after the time. You need to be focused, focus on your promotion, promote your product. Once you're promoting your product, have your focus. Also, you need to have paid media. Paid media, these companies have to pay for marketing efforts. Maybe you're paying for promotion. Maybe you pay either this social media or the either you pay your product to be pronounced or to announce it on the magazine. This is how you paid media. But also, this when you want to come on in public relations, this is a professional maintenance of a favorable public image by a company of the organization. So public relations is what for those who are going to defend the organization, you're going to talk about organization. You're going to bridge between organization and the community around the organization. For instance, you're going to talk about ISEC to ISEC to Uganda community. You talk about ISEC. You bridge between ISEC and the Uganda community. So that is called public relation. So you need to have creating favorable public image. You need to draw attention to public. You need to component marketing and media to have these e-medias to promote and talk about ISEC in Uganda and also to promote more about your organization. Once you come on advertising, this is an activity of producing advertisements for commercial product or service. You need to sell that you are um, selling my ISEC Uganda t-shirt you sell your local chapter t-shirts. So you need to advertise either using WhatsApp groups or using social media ads, use Instagram payment ads. So you need to advertise and make more customer know and understand about your product. Next, let's you know, have creating a marketing plan. As earlier, we talked about marketing plan and how to implement marketing plan. So here you need to understand more about marketing plan, how to create marketing plan, and also timelines, campaign, education task. Timelines are going to have when, when, who, and where, how you to go promote or to release your marketing plan or to promote your content campaign, how you're going to, which campaign you're going to launch, either it's say you're selling the events, you're selling products, you're selling any conference, and delegation of task is distribution of text, either who you're going to do what, who you're going to do what, and where, and how, something like this. Also, Let's look on understanding social media marketing. So in social media marketing, he is going to use social media platforms to make sales. He is going to use social media channels, social media handles, what you manage to make sales. What do you do, what you post on social media, what you need on your social account, either in Isaac in Jambu, Isaac in Imakere, Isaac in Uganda. You should understand and know what is exactly you need to post so you can come up with impact it. We call it call to action. Call to action, if you need someone to, to, to buy your product, just do it. So why is social media marketing so powerful? Because there are customer data, there's interaction, there's connection. You will post your product, people from Netherlands, people from Dutch, people from German, they will understand, they see your product, then they can buy it, you can show them your product. Data analytics, social media channels and the trends to understand the type of contents your target audience engage with. So you analyze the data from these social media handles so you can understand what kind of products you needed, which kind of you know, audience or, or customers you have in a social media so you can know what kind of product you're going to sell and when and who and which referral. Also, we're going to talk about referral next to next sessions. Uh, here, let's talk on about it, tracking. How are you going to track your marketing performance? How are you going to track team performance? You have our LOC, what are you going to track out your, your performance? Is that you lace or you drop so you can understand where to, to deal with, where to improve, where to make some changes. 
set out clear goals and expectations, let you work in the progress in the regular basis, help employees with the area with self monitoring tools, use the productivity score, make make use of chats, arrange one one meeting. This is a one one meeting. Arrange either weekly check in, we either either. PDP doing PDP, you can talk with your LOCP, you can talk with your member, you can talk with anyone who is in your channel or support system, you can understand what you're going to track, what you're going to improve. Make use of charts, just the arranging, what is rising, what's falling. Use of productive score that to have what it's, it's a productive more for this month, and what's less. So until you're up to here, thank you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much.